Good day. On today's episode, we're putting the rally on a diet. Bike mods, accessories, sparkles. To me, part of the appeal of buying a bike was in fact being able to tweak and tailor, tune and tinker. There's something very satisfying about giving your bike its own distinctive flair. Plus, working on it helps give you familiarity with its construction, making future repairs easier and less intimidating. Working on a bike can be relaxing or even zen-like. There's a whole book about it. I, I read it years ago, but I was super high, so I can't really tell you more about it. So as per my detailed review of the CRF 250L Rally, I really like this bike. It's a blast to ride on or off-road, and I basically love it. Uh, Honda has paid me zero dollars to say that, and because they've paid me zero dollars, I have a limited budget as far as bike modifications and accessories go. And as much as, you know, the guys on Craigslist will tell you that their bike is now worth more than the MSRP because, you know, they've, they've put an iPhone holder and some grip warmers on it, you're probably not going to get your money back out of any modifications you do to the bike. So I figure if I'm going to do something to the bike, it better be practical or at least make the bike more fun to ride. And ideally, I'd like to do it all for under $500. So, as we already know, the Rally is a great bike. I love it, but one clear and valid criticism of it is it's a bit heavy, 348 pounds, uh, which for someone like me who likes to ride in the uh, dirt, could be better. So, if we look at Newton's second law of motion, we'll see that force equals mass times acceleration. And I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not nearly as smart or as good as the Fortnite guy, so I'm not gonna be able to pull this off. Let's put it this way. Roughly speaking, eight pounds equals one horsepower. And how do I know that? I know that because I read it in a motorcycle forum. And I take the person's word for it. So you should take my word for it. My plan? Reduce the rally's weight by focusing on three areas. The battery, the exhaust, and the fender. So let's get at it, starting with the battery here. I pulled off the old the stock one here, and I figured for everything to be nice and scientific, I will uh, weigh it. Thankfully, my wife has a uh, digital scale because uh, she's a drug dealer. She's, she's not a drug dealer. So what do we got here? So we got five pounds, 12.4 ounces. Okay. Now, let's see. What we got for the new one, I've got this lithium ion battery. It's made by Skyrich. Let's see what we got here. So that's one pound, three ounce, uh, sorry, one pound and 3.2 ounces. So not bad, we're off to a good start. That's a net saving of So the next item on the agenda is this fender here. And uh, I've seen quite a few people criticize the look of the uh, the fender online. I don't really hate it, but I think we can do better. And, uh, and, and I think I found a very nice solution that I'm pretty excited about, which is um, TST Industries. Something I'm pretty excited about here is, um, Look at that, there's a coupon here, they're truly... I had to deal with them, uh, I needed to interact with customer service at uh, TST briefly uh, just because I, I made a mistake on my order and they were extremely professional, very quick to respond, I uh, highly recommend them. Okay, so what we have here is a, a tail tidy and so what I'm uh, hoping to do is uh, turn uh, this 
into Mother Tell your children not to walk my way. Tell your children not to Um so let's do that. So the uh, new tail light uh, assembly from uh, TST weighs in at 9.7 ounces compared to the uh, old tail assembly which comes in at 9.7 So the uh, old tail assembly is the 3 pounds and 7 ounces which gives us a net savings of... So we'll get started getting rid of the old stock exhaust and uh, putting on the new aftermarket exhaust. And I decided to go with a pipe by Delkovich. So let's uh, <clears throat> see what we got here. Um, I went with the uh, 13 inch uh, Del uh, Delkovich or Del Delkevich, I don't know, uh, tri oval uh, pipe, and um, so there's the invoice there. Looks like we've got some instructions on removing the pipe, the old one, that's nice, and installing the new one. I've seen several videos online circulating as well, so I don't think I'll have much trouble there finding some help if I need it. Um, link pipe there, everything's well packed. Uh, I believe that's some. Uh, Silicone exhaust sealant, so everything's in the everything's included. It's nice. And um, look at this guy here. All right, there it is. Um, so part of the reason I went with uh, this brand is there. Um, I didn't even I hadn't even heard of it. I had heard of FMF and the Yoshimura pipes because I'd seen several people mention those, and I've seen them on some of the bigger uh, motorcycle uh, retail websites. And then uh, I had stumbled across uh, uh, these guys, and I noticed that they had a lot of selection, and the price seemed like too good to be true. It was very affordable. And uh, when I did some uh, kind of follow up, looking at some videos online of people uh, putting these bikes on a CRF 250. They sounded, I really like the sound, they sound great. And uh, the quality looks very nice. The craftsmanship all seems to be uh, uh, superb. And so I thought, why not? And um, so we'll give it a go and try and get this installed and we'll check the weight difference between this and the stock. So the stock exhaust comes in at 11 pounds and 0.5 ounces. New guy comes in at, well, we got uh, four pounds, nine ounces. So with the link pipe as well, we're looking at about five pounds, 11 ounces. So five pounds, 11 ounces. All right, pretty good. So as standard issue for any video uh, about an aftermarket exhaust, I'll do it before and after with the stock, and then uh, I'll do it again with the, the uh, Delkovich on there. So here we go. Give it a go with the new pipe on. That is way louder and more badass. Okay, so that brings our grand total net weight reduction down to 
12.5 pounds approximately. And I think that's pretty good. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might say something like, well, Matto, I mean, really 12 measly pounds? I could take a dump and lose more weight and it wouldn't cost me, you know, 500 bucks. To which I would reply, really, man? 12 pound dump? I want to see a doctor. Anyways, uh, I forgot the point I was making. Oh yeah, I think 12 pounds is pretty good. To test out the new bike configuration, I brought it out to the Voyager multi-use trail system near North Bay, Ontario. If you have the opportunity to ride VMUTs, I highly recommend it. You'll find a variety of different difficulty uh, trails over a vast expanse of beautiful northern Ontario terrain. Sorting out my initial reaction to the bike was a bit difficult because the potential for a uh, placebo effect here is, is obvious. I just pumped $500 and a bunch of work into my bike and the brain loves to rationalize itself into justifying a decision uh, rather than admitting mistake. That said, I really do feel like the bike was lighter, more nimble, more fun to ride. Is the bike more powerful, especially given that I changed the exhaust? I don't know. I don't have access to uh, a dyno test. I wish I did. Hypothetically, the, the bike's performance could technically be worse, especially that I haven't matched the pipe with a fuel controller to optimize things. Uh, Delkovich says on uh, their website that no optimizing is required and the pipe can just be slipped on and, and you're good to go. So maybe it's not more powerful from a strictly technical standpoint, but does it feel more powerful? Absolutely. Adding the aftermarket pipe and its louder, meatier sound definitely adds a more dirt bike, off-road weapon vibe to the rally and I have to say I really love it. It's not for everyone and it's definitely a lot more attention grabbing around town, which may not be something that you're looking for. I do have a few minor criticisms to point out. The TST uh, taillight looks awesome. I love uh, the way it uh, looks and definitely reduces a fair bit of weight pretty easily. But there is uh, an issue here at the bottom. You can see there's quite a bit of exposure there. I had to uh, open it back up again after having installed it and there was a lot of dirt and crud in there so I'll, I'll definitely have to look into coming up with some sort of customized piece of something to get in there just to to keep shit from getting crammed up in there um the pipe i really love uh i've noticed it, it may have been due to my own error um if the bike is cold when you first start riding it there's a bit of a flat spot in the first gear and that seems to go away as the engine warms up so that may have been uh some sort of mistake on my part or I, I'm not sure but once the bike's warm it runs great it feels really uh, powerful and so my final thoughts on this project for uh, reducing the weight on the 250 rally are overall I think it was worth it I mostly came in on budget slightly over if you include uh, shipping and I think that's pretty good and overall the bike is a lot more fun to ride and it feels more powerful and uh, I've definitely been having a blast with it. I started making this video in late August and it's now November. And the big reason of that is because I've been busy riding and that's what you should be doing. So I'm gonna go do that now and so should you. Have a good one.